All right. Hi, welcome to Jump Training tonight. I'm Kurt House here, and uh, we've got Brianna over here. Uh, Brianna's gained a lot of inches on her vertical jump uh, so far, and one of the things that's done this is doing altitude drop jumps with uh, respect to shock training. And it tells your brain that we have the height set above her maximum vertical. So she has a max vertical 28, it's set to 33 inches. So um, when she steps off and lands from that height, it's going to tell her brain that she's jumping higher because she's landing from higher. Um, and it's going to, you know, have, make a lot of things happen in her central nervous system with her neurotransmitters and everything. So, um, so it's very, very good. It can add, this one exercise can add up to another inch a week. So she's gained, um, well, she started at 103 and last night she touched 118, right? So um, that's fifth. 15 inches in, or no, uh, yeah, 15 inches in like six weeks. So uh, it, usually it's an inch a week is what you gain, but this adds a lot to it. And this is a plow tower, it's patented, it's my invention, it will go up in one inch increments. And so you can tailor it to each person. And you also never have to buy another plow box like you always have to do. Just one box and it'll, it'll take care of everything for you. So, all right. So what she's going to do is she's going to step up onto this bench so she can step up to here, and then she's going to do a drop jump and land like in a position where she would be ready to jump. But she's going to very much try to land in a controlled and, and cushioned way, you know, on her, the balls of her feet and everything. So go ahead and do a drop jump. Good. How's that feel? Is that okay? Your knee okay? Everything okay? All right. So she's going to do um, five reps. Um, she's going to do five, then she's going to take a break, and then she can do half that height, one-legged ones also. So the reason you do double leg ones, drop jump from this height, and then half the height for one leg is you have a dominant leg and a non-dominant leg a lot of times. So uh, you can uh, really put a lot of gain and development into your weaker leg. Uh, by doing the one-legged drop jumps also. But <clears throat> we'll just do the two-legged ones uh, for you guys. And then uh, she'll just rest about uh, 30 seconds and then she'll do another round. The other thing is she's gonna, for two days, she's gonna go low impact. So so next week, um, Brianna's gonna do, she's gonna go do hydro training. So if you go to our website on plyomaster.com, you can get the free PDF file of training in the water, which is low impact, so you, you can recover if you're injured or you've done a lot of high impact, but also your body's adapting, full body resistance, so you're, you're having to recover uh, and deal with and adapt to it, so this is massive muscle confusion, not just tweaking a little exercise here and there. That's not enough for, to prevent you from plateauing when you train. Uh, the water is the best environment to force your body to adapt on a massive scale. And so that's what she's going to do next week. So she's going to go on a vacation and, and do hydro training. She's two inches away from 10 feet. She's only 14 years old. Wow, you know, she, that, if the, she keeps going, she's going to be at 10 feet real quick. And uh, she's moving at, at an incredible pace. Um, so the other thing she does when she's in the weight room, I dare anybody to work harder than she does. And she uses uh, space special attention to use good technique. And uh, if she has any kind of injuries, minor or otherwise, she'll let me know about it. You know, so you because sh you shouldn't train if you're in you're not gonna don't expect to gain anything when you're injured. Um, so you want to be healthy all the time when you train. So. All right, so she just did her sets on, on that, that's it. And then next she's gonna do the, the single leg. We could probably do that for you. Uh, so we could do it off of a regular bench, which would be approximately half the height she did, or maybe a little bit, but it would be uh, approximately fine for her. But for this, actually we should do this. Okay, so we're, uh, so let's go to 17 inches. That's what we want to be, all right. So let's go. 17. Okay. So the legs come off. 
tower. That's how you adjust the height. So it's patented. And yeah, do that. So right now it's at 14, so that would be good if she she was dropping from 28 foot. Just go to 17. So now it's at 17 inches. She's gonna do a, a single leg drop jump. So basically hop off with one leg and land. So just do five, same number of reps, three sets of five each leg. So you can pretty much go continuous with it. And uh, she's getting the same benefits as the, the double leg landing. Um, so but helping balance your legs out or, and really making, so when you land on two legs and you have a dominant leg, that leg's gonna do more work than your weaker leg. By doing the single leg, you're getting all the benefit of that drop into that weaker leg, so you're gonna uh, develop quicker from it. So that's one of the other things that helps with this. So there's a lot of single leg exercises in gym training, and uh, uh, that's, that's basically why. So, um, but that's it, tune in, and in the future I'm gonna try and get on video. When she touches 10 feet, I'll keep tracking it. So uh, it'd be great to see Brianna uh, touch 10 feet. So, all right, have a good one.